Hi, welcome to the Teacher's Playbook. My name is Melanie Howell. I'm glad you're here. I've been a classroom teacher for more than 20 years, and I started this channel, well, for a couple of different reasons, but one of those reasons was to give a glimpse into what classroom life is like. I sure do wish there had been a YouTube when I was either in college or a young teacher so that you could get a glimpse into what classroom life was really all about or um, sometimes just watching other teachers can inspire some new ideas of your own. So I'm hoping that's what people will get out of the channel. Today's video is about my schedule. I thought I would just talk about how um, a typical school day, eight to three, is divided up. If you find this video helpful, I hope you will consider subscribing, pressing like and bell notifications and all that kind of good stuff. Well, as you maybe can tell, I've almost made it to Halloween before I caught my first back to school cold. This is Monday, Halloween is Wednesday, and if you live in an elementary school, you know what that means. Our school is having dress as your favorite storybook character uh, for Halloween, so all of the elementary school will be dressed up, and we have a character parade, and um, then at the end of the day, the room mom puts on a little Halloween party for us with treats and things, and that'll be fun. And it's a lot of fun for the fifth graders because they know that when they go to middle school, the days of class parties during school hours are over. So they usually do a pretty big to-do for our fifth graders, which is, which is nice. I wanted to talk just a minute about what my schedule is like. Um, every year the schedule can change a little bit. It depends on uh, a myriad of variables. But this year, I have to say, is the, probably the best schedule I've ever had, at least the best schedule I can ever remember having. It is truly fantastic, and I almost feel guilty telling you about it, but I'm just so happy I wanted to share. Okay, so at my school there are two fifth grade teachers, and we switch. We're departmentalized just between two of us, and so they switch between two teachers in fifth grade, and it would appear the lawn people are outside. I'm sorry about that. Um, they switch between the two teachers in fifth grade and then there are four teachers in sixth grade. So we're sort of, again, a transition between elementary and middle school. So, yeah, he's revving that bad boy up. Okay, um, so our schedule is so fantastic. We have, we start school at eight o'clock. We have 10 minutes or so of homeroom. And then I have an hour and 20 minutes to teach one class reading language arts. Yes, an hour 20, it's fantastic. And then we switch classes and I have another hour 20 to teach the other class reading language arts. And while I'm doing that, my co-teacher is teaching math. And I have to say, I don't really call her my co-teacher. I call her my work spouse because when there are just the two of you on a team, you really need to be like-minded in your ideas about educational philosophy. It doesn't mean you have to be exactly alike in all aspects, and we're not. Um, but I think the reason we work so well together is because we recognize that and we acknowledge that. I mean, we could be having a conversation and she'll say, okay, and then at this point, this is where you and I are gonna split because you're gonna wanna do this and I'm gonna say we need to do this. But because we can talk to each other like that, there's not any friction. And in the big picture, we still have the same goals. We just sometimes differ on how we wanna get there. And so there's, there's good give and take, and that's a good thing. Okay, so basically I have from like 8, 10 until 11 o'clock with no interruptions, no music, no PE, none of that, just solid teaching time, which is fantastic. Then we have lunch, 11 to 11.30. Then we have recess, love recess. I mean, I should feel guilty about how much I love recess, but I really love recess. I love being outside. I love watching them play. I love watching the dynamics of who steps up to be a leader. I love that I have a little guy who's not particularly strong in the classroom, but on the soccer field, he totally dominates, and I just love watching him be so happy. Um, there are just so many positive aspects 
of playtime. I just love it. Okay, so after recess, we have Spanish. So they go off to Spanish for 30 minutes, and that gives me a 30-minute break to sort of pull together anything I need to for the afternoon or if I'm trying to get something graded from the morning. It's just a great middle-of-the-day catch-up time. And then they come back, um, and we have about 45 minutes, two 45-minute classes. I'm teaching the social studies history, and my work spouse teaches the science. Our science and social studies is pretty intense, I think, for fifth grade because they have done, in the early elementary grades, they've done a lot of hands-on with science and social studies. Um, last year, they did this fantastic archeological dig out at um, a local fort. And that's, talk about hands-on history. I mean, that's fantastic. But my job, before they go off to middle school, they have to learn how to study from a textbook. Uh, somebody has to teach them to take notes. Somebody has to teach them how to outline a lesson and then outline a chapter and then how to study for a chapter test. Fifth grade is the first year they have science and social studies, 45 minutes a day, five days a week. I like to say that it is a study skills class wrapped in the package of history because we have to teach them how to take notes, how to look at headings, subheadings, captions, diagrams, all of these kinds of things, and we just happen to do it through history. Our science and social studies time takes us up to about two o'clock, and then at two o'clock, yes, the end of the day, two o'clock, they go off to music or art or somewhere like that until 2.45, and then they come back and they have just enough time to fill out their planners, pack their book bags, make sure they're taking everything home that they need, those last few minute reminders before they head out for the day. And that's our schedule. And like I said, it's pretty awesome this year. I hope, you know, if I could wave a magic wand and keep that schedule for the rest of my career, I would. But the reality is I just need to enjoy it this year. I hope you liked this video and got an idea as to what a schedule can be like at elementary school. If you will like and subscribe and hit the bell, you'll get a little glimpse into what it's like to live in a fifth grade classroom.